Hey you guys and welcome back. Today is going to be my brown lipstick video. I've been meaning to do this video for like a very long time. Like I think probably like close to two years. This is going to be very similar to all of my other lipstick videos. I'll be swatching the lipsticks on my lips as well as on the back of my hand and giving you guys like mini reviews on all the different colors and why I like them and why I like the formulas. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Grayish lipsticks are coming next. I do have that on my list and I've been putting together all of my favorite ones and singling out which ones I wanna talk about. So that's coming up next. Brown is actually one of my favorite colors to wear on my lips. I, I think it's flattering on every skin tone. Definitely one of my favorites. Right up there with terracotta and I wear a lot of brown in the fall time. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Thank you so much for watching and let's go ahead and get started. Okay, I'm gonna start off with the most nude from the bunch. This is fairly new to my collection, but I have been wearing it for a while now and it's the Maybelline Shine Compulsion Lipstick in the shade Chocolate Lust. I always like to include a really good range when I do these like favorite colored lipsticks uh, videos, like from nude to very um, deep. So this is like my nudest of the bunch. As you can tell, it's a really, really shiny, glossy lipstick, but it has those brown undertones. It would look good on a variety of different skin tones. I think if you were tan to deep, you could pull it off. I find it's very flattering on my skin tone. I love the formula. It's very pigmented and smooth and it feels nice on your lips. Not super long wearing, but it does have this beautiful shine to it. Next up is one that I believe I talked about in my favorite nude lipsticks, but I'm gonna talk about it again here because it's like the matte version of Chocolate Lust, and this is, wrong one, this is the Maybelline into matte lipstick in the shade Raw Chocolate. So if you like the color of Chocolate Lust, but you don't like the shine, I would recommend you go for Chocolate raw chocolate because it's the same undertone and basically the same color but matte. It's such a great formula. The Intimates from Maybelline are my favorite Maybelline formula. They are pretty long wearing, like they'll definitely last me through a day. They have that beautiful matte finish but they're not drying and they're super pigmented as well. They're really just like butter on your lips. They're just such a good formula from the drugstore. If you're looking for that nude brown, I would recommend um, one of these two depending on if you like shine or if you like matte. Next up, we're straying into a little bit more of like a cool tone, cooler tone vibe, and this is the Milani Color Statement Lipstick in the shade Teddy Bear. It's still on in that like nude range, but it's just got a slightly more gray, cool undertone to it. A really great formula. It's not matte, so it's definitely gonna have a shine to it, but not as much as the Shine Compulsions. Even though it's not matte, it still lasts on my lips all day. This is definitely a little bit more bold. We're starting to get into like the actual more brown shades, but a good starter shade if you're thinking about reaching into browns. And then we are going to talk about the one that's on my lips right now, and this is the Physician's Formula Healthy Lip in the shade Nutritious. I love their lips, liquid lipstick formula. I think it's one of the better ones at the drugstore. The Nutritious is such a beautiful shade. It has kind of like a reddish undertone or like a like a raisin undertone. It's definitely a unique shade. I don't have anything like it in my collection. I love the formula of these because they're not drying, they feel comfortable. They're not super long wearing, so if you're planning on eating a lot of like oily or greasy food, I wouldn't recommend you wear this, but just for the comfort factor and the fact that it still dries down matte, I really, really like this lipstick. Definitely one of my like very favorite brown shades that I have. This was super popular back in the day and no one really talks about them anymore, but these are the Wet n Wild Mega Last lipsticks and this one is in the shade Mochalicious. And this is one of those lipsticks that whenever I'm wearing it, somebody always asks what's on my lips. Like strangers and people in the, like, in the middle of the street will come up to me and ask me, what I'm wearing. It's just one of those shades that just draws attention. It's got a cooler undertone to it. If you weren't sure about browns, I would recommend the first row there. Now we're getting into like the real ones that are definitely not for everyone. I love this shade. It's one of my favorite browns. Formula is great as well. I still think it's a good formula from the drugstore. It's not super matte. It's got like a demi matte finish, but it's very long lasting. I swear somebody will come up to you and ask you what you're wearing when you're wearing this on your lips. And the next one. So this next one is, um, I don't know. It was kind of like 
I really like it, so I'm including it, but I'm pretty sure not a lot of people do like it. It's another one from Wet n Wild, and it's in the shade Cashmere. This is actually one of their Silk Finish lipsticks. I don't have a lot of these ones. I have a lot of the Megalast, but um, still a good formula, and it's like a dollar at the at like Superstore and stuff like that. But this is the shade Cashmere and it is a frost lipstick so it's got that shine to it. I just think it is a beautiful shade. I don't wear it a lot, like I wouldn't wear it to work, but it's just such a unique shade. It's like this metallic frosty brown. I think it looks so pretty for like holiday looks and Christmas parties and thing like things like that. I think it's just a unique shade and if you like metallic lips this one is like a dollar so it definitely makes my teeth look a little bit like green almost I think browns in general make my teeth look more green I don't know how to explain it they just look they don't really look yellow they just look kind of green I don't know this one definitely does but I still love it and I want to throw it in here in case you guys don't mind metallic frosty shades. Then into more liquid lipsticks. The rest of them are all liquid lipsticks. This is the NYX Lingerie Liquid Lipstick in the shade After Hours. You guys know I love the formula of the lingeries. I feel like I'm one of the few that does. I think a lot of people don't like the formula because it can look a little streaky when you swatch it. I don't find it looks bad on my lips at all. It just They just feel good on my lips and I love wearing the lingeries so I really like them and I want to recommend the shade After Hours to you because it's like that chocolatey brown. It's a really really pretty shade but it can have that muddy chocolate kind of look to it so if you're not into browns you definitely wouldn't like this. It definitely, it, it's, it looks like mud. I can't like say it in any other way. It does look like mud but I think it looks good. Okay, the next one is a lipstick that I'm including because I like the color. I don't actually like the formula, but this is the Kiss New York Professional Celeste Matte Liquid Lipstick, and it's in the shade Brownie. And I'm including it because I love the color. It is a really, really pretty brown color. It's one of my favorite browns that I own, but the formula is just not great. It smells so much like, I don't even know how to explain the smell, like chemically sweet. Not something I actually enjoy putting on my lips, but the color makes this worth it. I love the shade of brown. It's a super dark, rich brown. It is like a true brown, but it's got like a reddish undertone. It's almost like, I don't know, is it like mahogany? It's like that wood that you see sometimes that's like got those like red vibes to it. I feel like that's what this is. I don't know if mahogany is the right term, but I really, really like this color and I kind of like make do with the formula because I love the shade so much. I feel like this is just a little bit streaky and it's not long wearing. It's not like the best formula out there, but the color is kind of makes it worth it, I think. Things. Next one, I you guys know I love this formula. It's my favorite liquid lipstick formula and this is the L'Oreal Pro Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Shakedown. So this is kind of similar to Mochalicious, I think, but it's in a liquid lipstick form and I find it pulls a little bit deeper on my lips. I really like the formula of the L'Oreal Liquid Lipsticks. I find them to be the longest wearing liquid lipsticks I own. They dry down matte, but they don't really look super matte on your lips. It's kind of hard to explain, but they just don't make your lips look super dry and like there's like no moisture to them at all. Pigmentation is really great as well. I like this shade because it is a brown, but it's got like like a hint of mauve. Even Mochalicious, I find, has like a little bit of a hint of mauve to it, like a purpley undertone. Definitely recommend it if you're into those kind of rich, cooler tone browns. Okay, and then we are at the last one. This is the Milani Amor Matte Lip Cream in the shade Covet. I know I said that brownie was the truest, truest brown, but this is like the truest deep brown. When you think of the shade brown, I feel like this is the shade you would think of. It's very deep, it is very brown, and I think it's beautiful. The only thing is I don't like the formula of this. I remember I really wanted the shade Covet because I really liked the Kylie Cosmetics True Brown K that she came out with, like her first initial launch of her lipsticks. She came out with the shade called, called True Brown, 
and this was the only thing I could think of that was like semi close to that shade at the drugstore. That's why I got it. The formula isn't the greatest. I find it wears away really bad. Like it'll wear away all in the center and like leave just the outsides of your lips after eating. So it's not like super long wearing and I do find it dries out my lips, but pigmentation is really good. The dry down is really good. It like dries down completely matte barely transfers and it looks very very matte on your lips. Really the bad parts about it are the dry the dryness and the fact that it doesn't last super long. Could not do a brown lipstick video without including the shade Covet so here you go. Okay you guys that is everything. Those are all of my favorite brown lipsticks from the drugstore. That wraps up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have favorite browns from the drugstore that I did not mention please please comment down below and let me know anything from like a light brown to like a super deep dark brown. Let me know because like I said, browns are my favorite thing. Well, one of my favorite colors to wear on my lips. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you would like to see more videos and I will see you in my next one. Bye.